Black Ops 6 is an absolute joke. The skill-based matchmaking and the engagement optimization matchmaking is so goddamn strong that it just happened to me in a free-for-all match and it seemed to happen a lot, or at least I noticed a lot in free-for-all matches because that's the most obvious place where the game will manipulate your hit detection, will manipulate your aim assist, will manipulate the damage your bullets do and vice versa for the other team. This is happening way too much for it just to be a coincidence and like I said, when I play free for all, I can notice it the most because that is where you can really see just one on one, one one one. If I start the game off doing really, really well, I'll start melting people, I'll be like 12 and 0, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, my aim assist, my hit detection, my actual bullet registration, the damage my bullets are doing are absolutely nerfed. People talk about skill based matchmaking. Yeah, I get that. Skill based matchmaking, but engagement optimization matchmaking is so much worse. That is when the game, which has patents for it. Like I hear a lot of people trying to say it's a conspiracy theory. That is nothing but a right wing Trump supporting misogynistic, racist, anti vaxxer, anti climate change hoax, guys. You got to vote for Kamala. I know what I'm saying? But it's absolutely real. Now, obviously, this is subjective. But objectively, yes, there are patents. But my personal experience in Call of Duty, and it seems to be a lot of others when I put this out on Twitter and said this was happening, a lot of other people know it as well. I know it more so than ever. And this is not about bullet sponge. It's not about hit detection because of the servers. This is, in fact, a actual system put in place to try to even out the playing field when you're playing Call of Duty. Like I said, the skill-based matchmaking is always and has always been around, but in this game, in Black Ops 6, I am noticing engagement optimization matchmaking where you are buffed in real time or nerfed in real time, depending upon how the match is going. Tell me I'm wrong for those you watching this video. Tell me I'm wrong that you haven't been playing in a match where your team is just stomping the others, but somehow, in some way, the game ends up close at the end. There never seems to be massive blowouts anymore. How is that possible? It isn't possible. It isn't mathematically possible. It isn't statistically possible to have this many games finish this close. 99% of the time, the games are almost always close, and that is not due to skill-based matchmaking alone. Yes, skill-based matchmaking plays a role in that because it tries to put people together of even skill level, which fucking sucks. Let's just put that right here. Hit that like button right now if you think skill-based matchmaking can pound sand. But it's the engagement optimization matchmaking that is truly manipulative and in fact evil in the sense that we are not playing the game the game is playing us because it is disgusting when this happens and no it doesn't happen all the time but I really, really, like I said a couple minutes ago, I really, really can notice it playing free for all because that is a perfect example of how you can just be blowing people out. The team sucks at your, or the, rather the players you're playing against, the individuals are not good. You can tell you're way better than them or perhaps you're way worse than them. And then out of nowhere, all of a sudden you'd be turned into a slayer or you turn into a downy moron. Like, I cannot shoot my gun type player. And then you just start getting wrecked and then the game gets closer and closer and closer. It just happened. Unfortunately, the file was correct corrupted that I was trying to show as an actual gameplay that was like the most egregious engagement optimization matchmaking and manipulation in Call of Duty history I've ever seen. I mean, I'm talking close range meta, just dumping bullets into dudes and I just get turned on and killed instantly. Or all of a sudden my aim assist is just wacky. It's more like aim resist. I can't hit anybody. I can't lock on anybody. Their bullets are absolutely destroying me. People are spawning behind me. People are just absolutely dumping me. I was out and ahead 15 to two. And then all of a sudden, next thing I know, it's 24 and I'm 16. I died like 10 times in a row. And these downies who I know are not good at Call of Duty, I'm not saying I'm good either, but these guys were really bad, all of a sudden catch up to me. And like I said, when you're playing just regular game modes like Domination or Team Deathmatch or whatever team-based modes, you always end up with a close match at the end. You all either are getting your ass kicked and then the engagement optimization matchmaking manipulation kicks in and starts helping you out or vice versa. You're kicking their ass and all of a sudden they turn into Super Slayer fucking Shotzi, Biffle, or I don't know, so whoa, hackers with amazing aimbot is absolutely just pathetic. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't think so. I think, well, you know, listen, it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. 
my reality that I'm seeing, which is subjective, we make our own reality, I feel like I'm being manipulated when I'm playing Call of Duty, Black Ops 6 especially. And I guarantee you, everyone watching this video, almost every one of you will agree that you feel like you're being manipulated when you're playing this game. I mean, it's like clockwork. It's like as if it is perfectly timed. You could almost tell you're doing kick ass. You're doing so well. And literally halfway through the match, it's like something clicks. And next thing you know, you're just getting dumped on or you're getting your ass kicked. And then like at the end of the game, everyone is close. It is very rarely that you can go through a match and just kick ass ass the entire time and feel like you're doing really well or even worse how's this not only that you'll just say let's say you'll do really well like actually let's just say and it happened to me you'll do well for like you know a couple hours or an hour you know back and forth but it seems like it's pretty consistent it seems like you're actually doing well and then all of a sudden you turn it off and you come back later or the next day and it's like as if you have never played call of duty before that is not possible it's not like any other sport or any other activity in the world where i learn how to ride a bike i go out and ride a bike i'm pretty proficient at riding a bike i can balance so look at I can ride my bike with no handlebars. I can do wheelies. I can do some jumps off a curve, do some sweet jumps, bro. You know what I'm saying? Take it off a wood ramp jump, and then you got to vote for Pedro. And that's cool. Like everything's going great. Like, oh wow, I'm going to ride a bike. And all of a sudden I go up the next day and I absolutely eat shit, run into garbage cans, and get hit by a fucking bus. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works when you're playing a sport. I don't play basketball one day and then go out and know I have an idea how to even touch the rim or like fall and trip over my shoelaces like I was a mongoloid. No, it doesn't work that way. But Call of Duty for some reason, because you know why engagement optimization matchmaking manipulates the hell out of us and we are getting played we're not playing the game i feel that i truly feel that and i know there's some really great players out there who are good almost all the time but listen it's different levels it's different levels so if you're like a two or three kd you're going to be kicking ass at a two or three kd but then you know what you'll drop down to 1.8 1.5 and then you won't be as good as your actual self there's different levels so if you're like a 1.5 or 1.3 kd sometimes you'll feel like a slayer and then other times you'll drop down and feel like a 0.6 kd it's, it's all different levels so it happens to everybody but it can't nerf you to the point where it is so obvious but it nerfs you to the point where it does try to give an advantage or disadvantage depending upon if you're doing well or not doing well to your opponent or to yourself and it is absolutely ridiculous it is ridiculous i i tell you i don't think i'm crazy am i crazy seriously guys help me out here like you're watching this video Comment down below or something, man. But I know, I know I'm not crazy because I put this out on Twitter and I didn't see one person say, you know what, they're ghosts. You're just a hater. You need to get good scrub. There are those people out there. Trust me, there are those people out there who will try to use copium and whatnot and not want to actually admit the fact that they're being manipulated. Now, like I said, there are players who are good and they do really good quite often, but at the same time, they will get dumped and they will get raised. It depends upon what the algorithm wants to do. And I'll close this off with saying this. And once again, I want to repeat this very clearly. How are all the games so damn close? How is every time you play, you're doing well, you're blowing the team out, and they somehow always come back? Or if you're getting your ass kicked, somehow you just start turning around and do better. It happens all the time nowadays. Back in the days, if I was getting my ass kicked, I got my ass kicked for the entire match. By back in the day, I mean before 2019 when this massive skill-based matchmaking really kicked in and Warzone dropped off. Back in the day when I was kicking ass, dropping bombs, dropping nukes, destroying lobbies, I would continue to do that throughout the whole game and drop it. Now, it's always like you're playing against an algorithm. Either playing against it as if it's nerfing you, or you're playing against it as if you're getting buffed, and none of it feels authentic. And Call of Duty, Black Ops 6, and Call of Duty in general compound sand. Unless you're out here making money off this game, unless you're out here making content off this game, or unless, you know what, hey, if you enjoy it still, even though you're being manipulated, I'm not one to tell you what to do. I believe in freedom. I believe in America, I believe in the Constitution, and I believe in you, the Gold Cock Army. And with that being said, I'm the ghost of eight. We're out here, you don't say no let the reptilian shapes after us building the moon base, harp the spray chemtrails. 7 Eleven was an inside job. You got a Google Tower, Seven the Bohemia Grove, worse than Owl's Earth is flat. The moon landing was fake. Ellis Jones is Bill Hicks, and the fluoride is turning the frogs gay. <laughs>